9 here is asking us which of the following is equal to 12. So I have four options here. I have the square root of 144, the square root of 100, the square root of 124, and the square root of 81. Well, right off the bat, what we can do is we can actually uh, get rid of two of these numbers here, right? So we can say that, um, well, we can say that we know two of these square roots. Square root of 100, we know this guy equals 10. So we can say immediately B is the wrong answer. And square root of 81 here is equal to 9, right? And this here is the wrong answer. And the reason why I know this is because 10 squared equals 100. So therefore, the square root of 100 is going to equal to 10. And 9 squared equals 81. So therefore, the square root of 81 will equal 9 here. So I know that the, I know these guys right off the bat. So I can say B and C are wrong. So it's between A and C here. So let's work this out. So let's look at A. And again, we can do prime factorization for A here. And we can actually use some type of logic here. We can say that because the number in the square root here is bigger than 100, therefore the, the square root of 144 needs to be bigger than 10. So the next kind of even number after 10 would be 12, right? So let's look at 12 and let's see if we, let's see if this equals 12 here. So I can say that, I can either say that, um, and there's two ways of the ways of thinking here. I, again, I can use prime factorization to figure out if this is 144, um, prime factorization to figure out if that's the correct answer, or I can simply just use trial and error. In this case, um, I would actually just use trial and error because 144 is a pretty common square root. Um, so I'm going by the logic that um, I, 144 is bigger than 100, so therefore that the square root of that number has to be bigger than 10. So I'm going to try 12 here. So I'm going to guess 12. And then we can just do simply just 12 squared. So it does 12 squared. If 12 squared equals 144, then square root of 144 equals 12. And we, what we all want to do is we want to solve for 12 squared. So 12 times 12 here. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 here is 2. I add a 0 and I say 2 times 1 here is 2. 1 times 1 here is 1. I add those guys together, I would get 144. So this here is actually the correct answer. So we can say the square root of 144 is equivalent to 12. So this guy equals 12. So A here is our correct answer. So as you can see, the solution here is correct. So it says if you take 12 squared, you get uh, 144. So therefore, the square root of 144 is equal to 12. So the solution is correct.